This is still in science. This is chemistry. The periodic law states that the chemical and physical properties of elements are a periodic function of their, is it letter A, atomic mass, letter B, mass number, letter C, atomic number, letter D, quantum number. Okay, so more answers for number six before I give you the correct answer. Okay, now going back to our question, Mom Eunice Carbajal, first timer then, welcome po. The periodic law states that the chemical and physical properties of elements are a periodic function of their, the correct answer for this one would be letter C. Letter C po, atomic number. Now, ano nga bang pagkakaiba ng atomic mass, mass number, atomic number, quantum number? Now, if you have an element here, this is an element gold, okay? Meron tayong usually sa inyong periodic table, uh, the father of which, no? Daan ko lang dito, no? Unahin ko muna tong si Dimitri Mendeleev. Dimitri Mendeleev po was a Russian chemist. And he is known to be the father of your modern periodic table. So he invented the periodic table. That's Dimitri Mendeleev. Take note of that. The father of your modern periodic table is Dimitri Mendeleev, Russian chemist. Now, whenever you see or you are looking at your periodic table, you see the different element symbols here. This is the element name. And usually, meron ko nakikita numbers dito. Okay, so... Meron ko nakikita ang number. For example, in this case, there's the number 79. And there's the number 196.97. Sometimes, nagkakaiba din naman yung locations ng mga numbers na to. Now, one of these numbers would be called atomic number. The other one is called your atomic mass. Okay? Now, even if magkaiba po yung location nila, tandaan lamang po ninyo, Whatever is the higher number, the higher number is always the atomic mass, okay? Higher number would always be the atomic mass. Now, remember that you have three subatomic particles. I've already discussed this in our previous live streams. Again, just go back to our playlist on the Gen Ed Prof Ed live streams that we have, especially if this is your first time. Uh, we have the protons, the electrons, and the neutrons. Some of you, those who are already been here, those have been here for a long time already, our online students, you already know the differences between your protons, electrons, and neutrons. Now, pag sinabi mo pong atomic number, itong uh, less na number natin dito, no, 79 and 196, again, sinabi ko, the higher number is always the atomic mass, which means the other number would be your atomic number. Now, your atomic number would always be equal to the number of protons of your atom or your element, okay? So it's equal to your number of protons. It is also equal to the number of neutrons, okay? So your atomic number is equal to number of protons, number of neutrons. Now, ang, ano mo naman? Uh, I, I'm sorry, not number of neutrons, number of protons, and number of electrons if your element is not charged. Again, your atomic number is equal to the number of protons and number of electrons if the element is not charged, meaning it is a neutral element. Now, your atomic mass, atomic mass here would be protons plus neutrons. Protons plus neutrons po siya. Okay, so that's protons plus neutrons. Lumalabas po ito sa let. Sometimes the let would ask you, uh, gold, Gold in your periodic table has the atomic number of 79 and atomic mass of 197. How many protons does gold have? Okay, so if that's going to be the question, how many protons does gold have? That means your answer would be 79. I've already mentioned your atomic number is equal to the number of protons always. And it can also be equal to the number of electrons if your atom is uncharged. Pag wala siyang positive sign, wala siyang negative sign. Now, your atomic mass naman is protons plus neutrons. So if you have the same question, pero yung, yung last part ng question mo is, uh, if gold has atomic number 79, atomic mass of 197, how many neutrons does it have? If that is a question, then your answer would be 197 minus 79. So isasubtract mo ngayon yung protons, number of protons, sa yung atomic mass para makuha mo itong number of neutrons mo. Okay? Because atomic mass is protons plus neutrons. Alright? So those are some of the things that you can see in your periodic, uh, periodic table. But of course, the answer that we have would be letter C. Letter C, that's atomic number.